Hello friends. Every poster of an engineering college fest has this contest named paper presentation. In the beginning, many of us don't know what it actually is. In every attempt we do to get an idea about it, we can't get all our questions answered. We are mostly left with uncertainty. So, the understandables present you a detailed set of steps to follow to attend a paper presentation. This presentation is purely based on our experience in making a paper. Before starting the process, it is very necessary for one to know some basic things related to paper presentation. Prerequisites: What is a scientific paper? In general, a scientific paper is a documentation made by a student that represents his study and analysis about a subject in a refined and readable way. We engineering students mostly make papers related to emerging technologies and this paper has many segments like abstract, introduction, explanation, definition, advantages, disadvantages etc. Point number 2 Abstract an abstract is a simple paragraph that gives an idea to the readers about your paper. It must be prepared only after preparing the entire paper. It must contain at least one introductory line to every subtopic in your paper. Simply, it's a theatrical trailer to your paper. For many competitions, we will have to send our abstract in prayer. If our abstract is good, our paper will be selected. So it is very important to see that our abstract is effective and attractive. Now let's move on to the actual process. 7 simple steps to give a paper presentation. Step 1. Selecting the topic. First you must select a topic. In many contests, only papers for limited topics will be accepted. So before preparing a paper for a competition, see that the topic you selected is in the selected list of topics. If you want an eligibility to every contest, your topic must be damn new and trending. Finding out the trending technologies is very simple. Take any 10 posters of college fests. Those topics you see common in every poster are trending technologies. It would be better if you select a topic from this list because you can have a probability to attend more number of contests. Also, gaining a command on emerging technologies is very beneficial for your career. Step number 2 Continuous study and analysis After a topic is selected, start studying the topic in detail. Get a clear picture about the topic. There are many sources and ways to analyze the technology these days. For the benefit of beginners, the understandables suggest you some sources. Google Get habituated to using Google. Go through several web pages. Textbooks Use related textbooks in libraries. Refer previously written papers on the same topic using Google Scholar, but don't copy any one of them. Magazines Also refer magazines related to technologies to know about recent applications and advancements of this technology. Step number 3 Making a notes with important points. Though this step must be done concurrently with step 2, I would like to put it as step 3 because of its importance. Note down every point that you feel to be worthy during step 2. Even if you get to know a fact about your selected technology during a casual talk, note it down. Be very precise. Don't miss any point that came to your notice. Step number 4 Writing This is the most important step. Organize all the rough points you collected. Categorize them and arrange them in a systematic manner by adding your own flavor. Keep the content as relevant and interesting as possible. You have no bounds in presenting a topic. You can use any example. You can use any criteria. You can also use general examples to explain a topic. But don't even write a single line without proper understanding. Using MS Word, type your prepared content in IEEE format. On YouTube, you can find many videos to make a document in IEEE format using MS Word. However, we are providing you a snapshot of this paper. The snapshot you see here may not be clear, but it gives a basic idea about an IEEE format. Step number 5 Digest your paper. Good books are to be digested, but not chewed 
or swallowed. No matter how marvelous your paper is, it is useless unless you understand it. Read the paper as many times as possible to correct any possible errors. This way you can get a clear picture of your paper. And this digesting is very important to move on to the next step. Step number 6. Making a relevant PPT. After step 5, you will have a clear idea about your paper. Now, prepare a rocking PowerPoint presentation which looks like a twin to your paper. Paper and PPT must be in sync. The relationship between this paper and PPT should be like fish and water. Should not be like fish and fisherman. Which means, your PPT must reflect the same ideas that your paper reflects. If there is no interconnection between your paper and PPT, the judges may feel that you have outsourced any one of them. If they think so, the consequences will not be fruitful. Hope you understand its importance. Step number 7. This is the most crucial step. But it is overlooked by most of the students. Practice concurrency with PPT. Many students concentrate only on the speech they have to deliver during the presentation. It is also very important to see that your speech fits your PPT. Your PPT and speech must be concurrent. You must get habituated to the effects and transitions you used in your PPT and speak concurrently. Making this real is a bit tough task. To realize this, you will have to prepare for your presentation as many times as possible. Every time you practice your presentation, you must practice and understand the mechanism of your PPT. Then your PPT and your speech can be concurrent. If not, it will be like watching English film with Chinese subtitles. The next aspect in which many of the students face difficulty is answering queries. For this, the only thing you have to do is following these steps strictly. because. After the completion of step 2 and step 3, you will be very confident with the topic that you have selected. Now, you will be ready to give a bold presentation. Thanks a lot for viewing this video. Hope the video has been useful to you. Please like the video and subscribe our YouTube channel, The Understandables.